So we're going to create a WordPress in a folder called EDTC621. In order to do that, we have to launch Bluehost, which is our web provider. We have to start the WordPress install. We want to make sure that we install this into a separate space, and of course we want to set it up afterwards. So by the time we are done with this, we're going to have an MSCT portfolio that's going to have its home page set as coursework template page. Off of this coursework template page, we're going to add links to our newly created WordPress. Two links, one's going to be module one for weekly assignments and the other link is for module two. In order to create that new WordPress, we need to get started. And so you will need your credentials for Bluehost. You're going to log into the cPanel for Bluehost. And the direct link for that is listed here. Alternately, you can always get to your cPanel through our instructional site because I have listed it there as well. Okay, in this particular case, I've just logged into my Bluehost cPanel. I do not want to pick up any extra ads, that's fine. I'm already logged in as another instance, which is one of the reasons why this has popped me in here so quickly, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to home. And if you see these little pop-ups, you can always close them out. We are at the home area of Bluehost right now, and we want to end up in the C panel or the control panel. Once we are here, there's a couple of things that we can pay attention to. The first thing, of course, is to check out and get a bird's eye view of all of the installs that we have already going. I'm going to go ahead and I've already launched this up here just to show you what we've got going here. But this is a listing of all of the WordPress and other application installations we've got going. So this is a linear view of what we were conceptualizing before over here when we had our primary website oops sorry and we have our brains web quest we may have some other applications once again this is the linear view of that these are all the pieces that we've got installed here so I'm going to go ahead and close that out now in order to install a new version of WordPress I'm going to go ahead and click on the WordPress this is going to take me to the Mojo Marketplace, and this will take a second or two to load. <clears throat> once we are in here, notice once again, I also get a listing of my current WordPress, or excuse me, my recent WordPress installs, although I can take a look at all of them down there. I'm going to come up here. Actually, before I do that, let me just point out to you. This portion here, the msctramapo.org, is the primary domain. The slash designates it's a folder or a subset of this msctramapo.org, right? Remember that our WordPress, our primary WordPress, is installed at the top here. We do not want to install over that because we'd lose it. We want to set up a whole new web space, and in this case, it's going to look like a whole new folder right here and that's going to become our EDTC 621. So what we're going to do is come up here to install. Now notice here, <clears throat> we could do it either way. I'm going to go ahead and pick my msctramapo.org and over here to the right hand side is this faded kind of spot where it says directory. I'm going to type in EDTC 621. By the way, you more than likely will not have all of these other chunks listed here. These are here simply because there are numeric addresses assigned to this particular do domain as well as domains with W's and without W's. Okay. So once again, msctramapo.org and this is going to create that slash. It's going to put it in a whole new folder super important that you have something here. If you don't, you stand the chance of overriding something else, so please don't do that. Once we click on check domain, it's going to do that. If in fact I were about to override something, it's going to come back and say 
it looks as if you've got something installed here. Are you sure you want to override? So it does give you a little message. However, we're not doing that. So the first thing I want to do is click on show advanced options. I happen to uh, like to go ahead and name my site right away. Although I can certainly do this at a later time. The admin username, I can leave it with my Ramapo account or not. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to bring up a notepad and copy that password in there. It's a pretty darn long, ugly little password, right? I can always change it here if I wanted to as well to something I'm more comfortable with. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it as the default. I'm going to come back over here and click off that I've read the terms and agreement terms and conditions and I'm going to go ahead and click on install. Now what's going to happen next is up here in the upper right hand corner it shows us our installation progress coming across here. I can also click on view processes and it shows me what's happening. <clears throat> and as soon as it's done and ready I can go ahead and click into it. I'm going to go ahead and pop out to, I'm going to actually copy this right here. Let's see how lucky we are. There it is. Okay. So even though it's still finishing up its little installation processes here in the background, it's finishing up um, some credentials, etc. It's right here. Now in this particular case, nothing exciting is here. We're going to start into our next video in terms of how we set up a brand new website in terms of WordPress. I'll see you in a minute.